I swear these two. Lazy Sunday. Stroker. Good boy. Of course, they stop jumping as soon as I start recording. Someone is eating their food incorrect. Can you point out who? Who's on the tree? See Samantha. She's back there raking too. But we're uh, nice outside, so we're putting the new roof on the goat shed, and the kids are cleaning up the milking pen. So yay! Yeah, the old roof is just done. So what Samantha is pulling up is right there is stinging nettle and you can use that for she, she can brew it and make it a tea for the goats that helps with their milk production or you can also do it for us people make stinging nettle tea like an herbal tea the reason it's called stinging nettle though because if you touch it with your bare hands or your skin it will burn for hours but look, look at the cutie look at that cutie just bother her mommy it's goat yoga goat yoga my family farm tx edition coming soon could we do we know anyone that does yoga that wants to do goats we do goat yoga so, sorry. so what we're doing is we're wrapping this tree because the goats will eat the bark of the tree and kill the tree and this is a real nice mulberry tree that puts out fruit and i think the kids said fruit's starting to show up on there let's see if i can find it i don't know if y'all can see it you see the little fruit there? They'll turn red and purple. Yep. You can make wine and jelly and everything out of it.
for a big September group of babies. Um, that way, these girls, the ones we are planning to keep, we will be showing in October. Um, and the babies will be big enough before it starts getting cold that we don't have to really worry about a heat lamp or anything. So in this pan, we've got four does, two of which are juniors, two are seniors, and then we have a daiquiri. <laughs> We're excited to see the, the two juniors in here are actually our first one of our first babies from last year. So I'm curious to see how they will develop and what those little udders will look like when they actually do freshen.